Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Before I go any further, a word from my sponsor. That is the Tudor Heritage Advisor. 42 millimeters in a combination of grade five titanium for the mid case and steel for the trimmings such as the bezel, the crowns, and the on-off toggle. You can see and you can purchase this contemporary automatic winding Tudor complication on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this Tudor Heritage Advisor with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this complicated tutor. Now this is the most complicated tutor ever created. A combination of a tough and precise ETA 2892 base with Tudor's own power reserve and on off alarm module. This is a watch you're going to want to use for your travels because in my opinion there is no better travel companion than an alarm watch. Now on my wrist six and a third inches in circumference, 16 centimeters. You can see that the watch wears well. It is much larger than the traditional Heritage Advisors, which were built between the late 50s and late 70s. Those were relatively petite watches. This is a burly 42, not oversized, but it's knocking on the door of oversized. At 42 millimeters without the crowns or the on-off toggle, Fairly thin for what it is at 13.9 millimeters. You can slide it underneath a sport jacket or a dress coat sleeve. You're, you're not going to have any issues getting this under a jacket sleeve. It's not for the absolute tightest of cuffs, however. So French cuffs need not apply for this one. All things considered, though, at 49.4 millimeters lug to lug, it stays under the critical measurement for a smaller wrist. I define a smaller wrist as about 14 to 16 and a half centimeters in circumference. And for those wrists, you want a watch that's lug to lug. 50 millimeters or under, and this definitely fits the bill. It's an easy watch to wear, too, because it's a hybrid of titanium and steel, so it winds up weighing less than you would expect for a large sports watch on a steel bracelet with a solid case back. And it is comfortable. As you can see in profile, the shape of the case is nicely suited to a smaller wrist with lugs that are dramatically downturned and relatively short cropped where they exit the flank of the case. You'll also note that there's no constraint. You can pull the bracelet down. It doesn't want to flare and fight you. It can exit straight down out of the lugs and around the tight curve of a smaller wrist. The bracelet is very much in the Rolex Oyster style. No coincidence given the close links between links, pun intended, Rolex and Tudor over the years. You can see that it borrows some of the best elements of the Oyster bracelet, including the large scalloped channels between links to aerate the wrist, as you can see how much daylight shines through, but also to avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. Now, while the watch is a hybrid of steel and titanium, the bracelet is steel, and so is the clasp. The clasp is a thoughtfully designed piece, which, as you can see, even uses ceramic retaining beads to maintain the tight closure tolerances of the clasp over time. So. It is a positive and impressive mechanism, better than what you would have seen on a Rolex just a generation ago. Very impressive given the price range of this watch. Now the case is relatively simple if generously proportioned, all of high polish. It seems almost like a giant 36 millimeter Rolex Datejust scaled up to a nightmare scale. And that's not a bad thing as the traditional Datejust case is shapely and sensuous. And you'll also note that the watch features a shield of steel atop its grade five titanium case. This is excellent because grade five titanium is superb at resisting sundry scratches and scuffs, whereas steel acts as the ultimate barrier against insult and damage. You'll also note that the dial features a surprising amount of detailing and depth, sloping down from the Rayhot style minutes and seconds track outboard, you can see a opaline or lightly grained matte silver dial base. So it has a little bit of a glow in bright light, but it doesn't explode like a traditional sunburst. Now you will note applied and faceted indices for the hours with diamond style indices at five o'clock as well as seven. And you'll also note that the Dauphine hands at center have a small amount of luminescent material. So yes, there will be a loom shot at the end of this video. You'll also note that the center dial is nicely stepped and raised on a plinth of sorts to add another focal plane. There's a little bit of downward slope to the convex hour track, and then there's a raised track for the date. Now let's talk about the tech underneath. Of course, you already saw that the alarm has an on-off toggle, so you can deactivate the mechanism 
when you don't want it and a power reserve scale so you always know at a glance whether the alarm is ready to activate when you arm it. You'll also note that there is a delta style indicator in red for the alarm. You can set it to about five minutes once you get used to it but it's impossible to set to the minute or to the second. Some people ask about that. If you're living your life to the very second you're wound way too tight. You need to relax five minutes or more. Now furthermore, the watch retains all of the underlying technical capabilities of the 2892. Now you can see how there is a quick set functionality for the date. So you can rapidly cycle the radial date indicator. And Tudor did well to avoid a date aperture on the style. That might have ruined the effect. A radial date at six o'clock is a perfect solution. Now you also note that when I pull the crown to extremity, I hack and I stop the balance. Like I said, all of the 2892 features are retained. The 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate, the bi-directional winding, the 42 hour power reserve, hacking seconds, and the quick set date. You still get all of that. The watch is also 100 meter water resistant thanks to robust seals and a tightly fitted screwed in case back. So while it does have the lines of a scaled up dress watch, nevertheless, it has the toughness of a traditional sports watch. This is also my favorite contemporary Tudor model. I feel like it offers everything you could want in a watch for all occasions. A dress watch, a sports watch, a mid-size watch between the realms of the undersized and the oversized. This is right-sized and in titanium and steel it's also an all-the-time watch. Loom shot to come but see it more extensively on our website. And we're back with the Tudor Heritage Advisor, reference 79620T. Surprisingly bright for a watch that's principally designed to help you hear the time. See it by the light of day on our website.